not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. This is the last thing anyone expected. Not only did Putin recently reveal hidden biblical paintings, but he also admitted to Jesus being black. Good morning. Let's talk about black Jesus. So Vladimir Putin reveals a day or two ago that uh, they went into an old archive and found some 14th century illustrations depicting uh, Christians, including Jesus, as black. What does this mean? May mean something, may mean nothing. Uh, one thing we do know, though, is that Ethiopia is Christianity's second oldest community or state, if you will, and that goes back uh, over 1,600 years, so to have illustrations from the 1400s depicting Christians as black is not particularly surprising. Um, what do we know about the race of Jesus? Well, we actually know more than you might think. We have the Shroud of Turin which was authenticated by the Sudarium of Ovidio, whose provenance is not in question and has over 70 points of commonality with the shroud. The Sudarium of Ovidio is a face cloth. So, it, we do know the race of, of Jesus. Now, as far as the skin tone, well, that's subject for debate. But the question is, why now? Why is this coming out now and so forth? There's been a growing number of people that say that the Bible tells us the name of the Antichrist. Uh, they cite Luke 10 and uh, passages in Isaiah. Uh, some people say the translation is good. Some people say it's not good. But supposedly the Bible names the Antichrist as... Barack Obama, Hebrew, Aramaic, whatever the language is that they were, they were looking at. So we also know today that worldwide, whites only make up about 9% of the world's population. 93% of the world's population is black or Asian, basically. But again, we're getting into why does this matter? Well... If Obama is the Antichrist, he's going to need to come across as Christ. And you've got Putin going, you know what, Jesus is really black. Considerable portion of the world's population is black. They're going to be easy marks to think that Obama is Jesus when in fact he would be the Antichrist. So everything for a reason. Uh, this is my take on the disclosure now, but there have been depictions throughout, frankly, uh, almost going back 2,000 years, and you'll see biblical characters depicted as, as different races. Um, you have to remember, though, that uh, man was created in God's image, and man encompasses all races. So the, the actual race of Jesus is kind of irrelevant. It, it encompasses everything. So no big deal there. But I do think it's interesting with Putin's disclosure, with the possibility that Obama could be the Antichrist. You know, why was he in Britain recently and putzing around in that mess? Uh, we certainly know there's some 
satanic issues going on uh, with the royals and many other elitists, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, that's my thing. The timing makes it interesting. And the fact that you have uh, supposed proof that Jesus was black, that would appeal to the blacks. If Obama was the Antichrist, then uh, he would come across as Christ to these people. Uh, who lack discernment. So if you're a Christian and you have discernment, good on you. We all know things are going to get really, really bad really, really soon. Stay with Jesus. Stay with the true Jesus. Don't fall for any of the fake ones. Have you all seen the story about Putin unveiling religious icons from the Russian vaults? I don't know if this is an AI fake story or something real, but I'd really like to find out. Supposedly, Putin revealed a bunch of religious icons, and these icons depict the Hebrew people as black. Now, a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter what color Jesus is, and that may be true on an individual level. But on a global level, that means a lot of people have been lying to us. If Russia has proof of these claims, that would delegitimize the European royalty, along with the royal bloodlines of the Nordic countries, like Switzerland, Norway, Wales, as these royal figures claim to be direct descendants in the line of Jesus. It would also call the Vatican's narrative into question. Have they really been whitewashing history, as they call it? Or is this just a made-up story? I don't think people really care what the truth is at this point, but that's what we want, the truth. And I've really looked into this stuff. There's enough evidence on both sides of the coin to pretty much believe that Jesus was whatever color you want him to be. But if Russia really has some artifacts and paintings in the 1400s, that would really tip the scale in a certain direction. Did Putin really just talk about black Jesus? And if so, then why isn't the whole world talking about this? Everyone's seeing a bridge collapse. Everyone's seeing Diddy's house being raided. Today, today, Listen. We stand on the precipice of a monumental revolution. A moment that defines not only our understanding of history, but also the path forward for our great nation. In an extraordinary discovery hidden beneath centuries of lore and legend, we have opened what can only be described as the oldest vault known to mankind. What we found within its ancient confines challenges the very fabric of our beliefs and heralds a new dawn for our country. Within this vault, we discovered figures of biblical proportion, characters that many have read about, debated, and revered. These figures, preserved against the sands of time, reveal a truth that is as profound as it is transformative. They are all black. It is a revelation. This undeniable truth that stands before us, not as a contradiction to our faith, but as a testament to the diversity and unity that faith embodies. As your president, I see this moment not as a challenge to our beliefs, but as an opportunity to embrace a wider, more inclusive understanding of our history and spirituality. So when I searched on the internet, I kept finding that everything was false. It's false. It's false. But isn't that how most things are that are actually true? Take your eyes off of Diddy and back on the truth. President Putin unveiled things they have from their archives, they say a thousand years in their archives. And they showed that Sayyidina Isa salam, to be dark skinned and images that are associated with the, the people of Sayyidina Isa salam, dark skinned. And from what we told from Sayyidina Muhammad salam, the Sayyidina Musa salam, was very dark skinned. 70,000 Prophets of Allah now these ulama are finally admitting out of 124,000, 70,000 dark skinned Prophets. Means with Islam lies the truth and all others they put a deception what we call kufr. That to know a truth and to deceive a people and to make a certain race of people as if they're more important than others. So these are some interesting reactions to Putin opening.